Hello there. Hello there. Today is the first day of the Linux Upskill Challenge, so let's get this started. Oh yeah. Today we have three tasks. We have to connect and log in remotely to the server. We have to change our password if necessary. And we have to get uh, familiar with the server and try out some basic commands. So the first task is to connect and log in remotely to our server. But I want to show you something different from what we did yesterday. You might encounter in a production environment a server that you have to SSH in that requires a password. We didn't do that yesterday. I have one server here. This is my personal home server. I configured the SSH connection to that and I'm going to log in. That's, that's what you're gonna see if your server requires a password. It's re requesting my password for this user in this server. I'm logged in. I'm going to show you how to change the password. Let's say this is a um, server123 kind of password. You want to put a, a better password in that. Pass WD is going to change the password for the user that I'm using. It's going to request the current password first and request a new password twice. It's successful. We got the first task basically that is to change the password. But let's go a little further. Put on a new layer of security here. Instead of using a password authentication, we're going to use a key pair passwordless authentication. So instead of using a password that can easily be hacked, we're going to exchange encrypted keys between the server and client. Tinkernut has an awesome video explaining how this works. You should check that out. Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Here's the instance we created yesterday. Connect to that. Okay, we're in. We're in. When working in production, every server, every device on your network is going to require from you to know general status and information about memory, CPU, storage, network. I'm going to get a few comments for that. Uptime running for one day and 21 minutes. Your name dash A for all. Linux name, it's general information, free dash H. Every command that you see with a dash H, usually it means that it's for human readable or human friendly. It means instead of you're seeing things in bytes, you're going to see megabytes and gigabytes. Memory total, memory used, memory free. CPU, LS, CPU. It's going to show us a lot of information about the CPU. We have one CPU, one core, the Intel Xeon 2.4 gigahertz. Now, how much of that is being used? This is just uh, the, the hardware information, but how much it is being used? Let's use top. This is much like process information. This is what's happening here and we see in processes how much they are using percentage of CPU, uh, memory usage. There is a better way that is H top. Like, ah, pretty, huh? Nice. Much easier to read. Can change the sorting. I want to see percent memory instead of percent CPU. Again, if it does have a H, it's much more for the human to read. The F dash H again, uh, how much is available and uh, the size and use it for each file system. It's for file systems in, uh, in the Unix and Linux world, file system is not the same as a disk. If you want to see the block disks, you use LS block. Mount point. And exactly what we reserve at 8 gigabytes. I want to see my files then. 3. 3 lists the files in the 3 format. It shows from the beginning of the root and it goes uh, recursively. It shows you in a 3 form. 
it's easier to to understand where the, the files are. The U dash H showing me the usage is disk usage for each of my uh, folders in CDU. We don't have it. sudo apt install and cdu and cdu for network we have netstat dash i showing network interfaces this is the ethernet this is the uh, loopback interface and the status of that if i want to know my ip addresses if config the ethernet part is with this IP address, INET IP address, net mask, my loopback. But if config is being deprecated, IP address is taking precedence and some distros don't have if config anymore. Same information, loopback, IP address, Ethernet zero, and the IP address. It's the same thing, it's the same information. But the, uh, the package of the IP command have a lot more, more features than if config alone. So we got the three tasks done today. Thank you for joining me in this ride. And I see you guys tomorrow.